Today, the Department of Health and Human Services is awarding $1.8 billion in new grant money to fight the opioid epidemic, something we've had quite a bit of success on and we're continuing. And I think you'll be amazed at the results. Uh, we've been doing this from pretty much the beginning, but really emphasis over the last year and a half. These funds will be delivered to the communities where the help is most needed. Extremely hard on. Today, the Department of Health and Human Services is awarding $1.8 billion in new grants. It's a problem that every country is having, or most countries, certainly, but uh, it's something that I saw firsthand during the campaign, and I couldn't believe when I looked at certain states in particular how bad it was. We want a safe and healthy future for every American family. That's what I said we'd do, and that's what we're in the process of doing. Something that my administration is very focused on, and we've had the best year we've had in over 51 years. We actually brought drug pricing down. In this effort, nothing is more important than defeating the opioid and addiction crisis. The $1.8 billion in funds we're awarding today will be distributed to all 50 states through the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. It's very exciting. They'll be used to increase access to medication and medication-assisted treatment and mental health resources, which are critical for ending homelessness and getting people the help they deserve. So many problems are caused by this problem. These grants will also support state and local governments in obtaining high-quality, comprehensive data so that we can help the most people and save the most lives, which is what we're doing. So we've all done a very good job. And uh, I think numbers that nobody would have believed uh, when we started.